Calling all entrepreneurs, get ready because today we're talking about the secret sauce to the successful small business owner. Plus, some small business tips you can use as an entrepreneur. But first order of business, business owners fall into two categories, self-employed and entrepreneur. Which one are you? Coming up next on The Pulse. Hello, I'm Denise Roberts and welcome to The Pulse, the show dedicated to helping Prince George's County businesses. When it comes to small business owners, you're either self-employed or an entrepreneur. The self-employed are those who have a talent or skill. They know people who are willing to pay them for their time, product, or service. So they employ themselves rather than work for someone else. They get business cards, stationery, possibly an office. They begin marketing their services and after a while they have some customers. They also find themselves working too many hours constantly trying to fill the pipeline with new prospects and sometimes wondering if they bought themselves a glorified J-O-B. We're talking about talented professionals, people who, like you, work hard and deserve success. The entrepreneurs, on the other hand, are the business owners who see, seem to grow their businesses effortlessly and maintain steady growth. You talk to them and though they work hard, they they are off for a three-day weekend at the beach or European vacation. They do charity work and participate in activities with their kids. What do they know that the self-employed do not? Joining me today to talk about what it takes to be a successful business owner is Jean Drummond, award-winning business owner and CEO of Healthcare Dynamics International. Jean, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you so very much. You're, Absolutely. You're welcome. Good. So good, please good. tell me about healthcare. Dynamics. Dynamics International, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, well, there's so much to tell. Mm -hmm. um, it's been 25 years, and so we have definitely have a story. But we started right here in Prince George's County. Mm -hmm. um, it was $400 on my mother's credit card, yes, that we started with. And um, I uh, feel like it was our vision to, to move forward. And so here we are, a very successful organization. Um, we've had great success, but guess what? The best is yet to come. I know that's mm -hmm. right. So. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about what it means to be a successful business owner and sure. how to get there? Sure, absolutely. So, Denise, um, what it means, it's, it's a passion for a particular work that the marketplace needs. Mm -hmm. First of all, it, it must be something that the marketplace needs. And it's, it's development not only in that particular service, but the infrastructure that's required for that. Mm -hmm. So that becomes accounting, marketing, um, strategy, uh, human resources, ta talent management. Mm -hmm. Now it's, it's what it's called. It's business development. Mm -hmm. um, it's capture management. Mm -hmm. it's, it's how do you really develop a product and a service that one is um, current, reflects state of the art, you know, state-of-the-art technologies, and that there is a customer mm -hmm. that is willing to purchase over and over again mm -hmm. um, for profit. Mm -hmm. And what type of mindset do you need to be an entrepreneur? Well, so Denise, um, several things. First of all, you have to be persistent. Persistent means, you know, in fact, I always say no means not over, okay. right? And so if I believe that this is something that I'm to do, you have to be persistent. Um, next is you have to be a planner. You've got to plan ahead. You've got to be proactive. You cannot wait for work to come to you. You've got to go after it. If it's going to be, it's up to you and your staff to make that, you know, to make that happen. Um, you know, you've got to, you've got to be just someone that is always willing to go above and beyond. Beyond. It's very competitive. It's incredibly competitive. When we post for a job, sometimes we get two, three hundred applications. And so how, as a corporation, do you maintain that competitive edge and making sure that you're reflective of current policies, the current marketplace, and the demands that are, you know, that can really help you to build your organization and make sure that you are competitive? So you need good, strong people. Okay. And how do you see... Uh, the self-employed versus the entrepreneur. Very, very different. Very, very different, as you explained in, um, as you explained earlier. So certainly, the entrepreneur, the the self-employed, is typically just concerned about themselves and and their work and making sure that they have a pipeline. Mm -hmm. 
But for an entrepreneur, it's broader. So the relationships are broader. The, the risk is broader, right? Um, because now you're hiring individuals. We're now in, in well over seven, we're actually about nine states now. And so there's a lot of risk in terms of having staff on, you know, on board. Um, you're thinking about the benefits of your employees. You're thinking about, you know, broader strategies. You have a five-year plan, a six-month plan, a 60-month plan, um, rather than just a, well, what are we going to make for this year? And honestly, you are, certainly in the beginning, it moves forward, but certainly going on those vacations, and that's nice to be able to have those times, and, and we do have those times. I'm going to be, you know, um, I travel quite a bit now, much more than I used to. And so it's quite an investment that you're making in other people. Okay and making sure that you bring on those right individuals. Okay, yeah, it, it, it just seems like there is, uh, there are things that hold, uh, or it's, it's a difficult transition for someone to make. They start off with a craft. Yes. Or a talent. Yes. And to transition from that to, to the business owner. Right, It's right, the right. mindset, right? It is, and, and it has to be very intentional. Mm -hmm. You just don't kind of trip up right. and find that. Mm -hmm. And so it's a business plan. Mm -hmm. It's strategy. Mm -hmm. It's how you manage your finances. Mm -hmm. It's making sure that your accounting systems are in order and that you have the technology undergirding, mm -hmm. undergirding that. It's, it's the, um, the, the, the size of procurements that you go after. Okay, hold that thought. Yes. Because um, we're going to come right back to okay. that. This week's Selfie on the Pulse is from Karen Woodridge, President and CEO of Karen for Kids Incorporated of Lanham, Maryland, a pediatric private duty nursing company. If you would like to see your business on this show, take a picture of you and your business and send it to us on Twitter, at PGC Diversity. Don't forget to use the hashtag Selfie on the Pulse. Stay with us because we have more with Gene Drummond when we return, but up next, the Pocket Size Business Guide. I started mentoring in my mentee, Dantre, four years ago. I always thought about doing it. Etienne's a very close friend. I look at him as a brother and a father figure. I would like to give back, just like Etienne gave back to me. Be someone who matters to someone who matters. business advice isn't always best served to small business owners. Just ask any entrepreneur and you'll likely find that what has worked for them doesn't mimic the advice their large big box competitors may have followed. Consider the following tips aimed specifically at small businesses courtesy of Forbes.com. First, don't try to match or beat your competitor's prices. Price may win with retailers like Walmart, Amazon, and Target, but smaller businesses know all too well they typically can't compete in this big box space when it comes to dollars. Of course, price will be a factor, but when combined with other experiences that make you stand out, price can often become overlooked thanks to those factors that can outshine it. Number two, as a small business owner, you work hard to attract new customers, so don't waste your efforts because of poor customer service. Take the time to evaluate your customer service procedures to see if there are areas that need improvement. For example, when dealing with customers, try to relax, focus on your follow-through, and be accessible. And number three, big or small, businesses can gain the opportunity for increased customer retention and more frequent spending when loyalty programs digital, mobile, or paper are offered. The idea is that you create one that makes sense for your business and your customers. Hopefully these tips can motivate you to make smarter, more focused decisions for your business. While it's important to know what your competition is up to, make sure you also know how to tune them out when focusing on your own small business plans. Don't go away, because we'll be right back. Talking to veterans about the real issues they're dealing with can be uncomfortable. But when their behavior changes, it's time to act. Call the Veterans Crisis Line at 1-800-273-8255 and press 1. Welcome back to The Pulse. If you're just tuning in, we are talking with Gene Drummond about how to be a successful entrepreneur. So, Gene, yes. 
Can you just talk about some of the lessons that you oh, learned? Oh, absolutely, as a no question. First of all, I just want to say on the tips that you just gave, they are absolutely on point. I mean, just that customer service mm -hmm. is so critical. The responsiveness, yes. being responsive and following up is just vital. Yes. And you'd be surprised what you might think are such simple tips mm -hmm. are things that people really don't do but can make a marginal difference and help your brand yes. to, stand, to stand out. Yes. So some of the lessons learned, I would say, is just focus. Mm -hmm. Denise, we can't be everywhere all at the same time. But in this competitive market, it's very important that what you do, you do well. Mm -hmm. Be at the top. Yeah. Figure out what is your nine, your eight, nine, and ten, and stay there. Mm -hmm. Let your sevens go. Mm -hmm. And so be a leader in the marketplace. So I would say earlier on in HCDI, mm -hmm. we were at a number. We've probably served well over 15 federal agencies, numerous state, private, public agencies. And so now the word is really focusing. Mm -hmm. And so we're really excited about you know okay. that you know that that kind of focus. Okay. I would say another you know, lesson learned is really making sure that your strategy mm -hmm. is in alignment with public policies. Okay. And so oftentimes, um, as small businesses, we don't really take the time to follow the dollars yes, right. and look from Congress mm -hmm. to the state, federal, local, what have you. And so just making sure that there is alignment with your business strategy with public policy okay. in the domain that you are working. Right. So that's really kind of something that, you know, that, you know, that we learned, okay. um, that that we learn, learned early on. I'm happy to more share sure, others. Sure. Sure. So, on a tough day. Yeah. Wh how do you, where do you get your motivation from, and where does your win come from and, behind your success? Oh, Denise. Mm -hmm. So, I tell you, um, you know, my. So you know me personally, mm -hmm. and um, I just know that what I'm doing is my destiny. Okay. It's my destiny. Mm -hmm. um, this is an appointment that I believe that God has assigned to mm -hmm. my life mm -hmm. as an entrepreneur. Okay. So that's really my strength mm -hmm. that he gives me when I don't know where yes. to go. It's on my knees. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Mm -hmm. And number two, um, my staff motivate me. Mm -hmm. I mean, to know that they are looking to me mm -hmm. and it's my decisions mm -hmm. that oftentimes affect them. Mm -hmm. I want to make decisions that will also be in their best interest. Mm -hmm. um, I'm determined. I know that we can do it. Mm -hmm. um, we serve vulnerable populations. So I want to be the voice for that, for that individual that is in our community that maybe for one reason or the other her pathway mm, led her down some 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 areas that Sure. We're not of benefit. Okay. And so the work that we do, we have a nonprofit mm -hmm. that reaches out to girls, mm -hmm. we adopt schools, oh. we do a lot for the community. Yes. So we, we give back. Yes. So it's knowing to whom mm -hmm. much is given, mm -hmm. much is required. So we want to give yeah. and we want to really be a part of our community. So that's what gives me the drive to keep on pressing on when it can get some awfully dark times and tough times. And it's so, that's so important what you said about giving back and being yeah, in the community. Too. And that, actually contributes to your success. Yes, Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. We, you have to. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know the statistics mm -hmm. right here in Prince George's County and across the country, mm -hmm. the many things that we're going mm -hmm. through. And so mm -hmm. those of us that have even a little, mm -hmm. even a little mm -hmm. bit, we can give back really to help quick, someone else. Really quickly, Yes. what's next for HCDF? Oh, growth, growth, growth. <laughs> we are on a pathway. I feel like that over the last some years, we've put some real stable yes. platforms in place. Mm -hmm. And girl, we are ready to take off. I We're going to go to the next level, that next atmosphere. Um, we just want to grow nationally. We mm -hmm. want to grow in our work. Mm -hmm. um, and just most of all, grow in our impact. Mm -hmm. You know, we're a healthcare policy organization that does a lot of work around health policy. We do work on the ground. And so um, we're just excited about the growth potential that is in um, our industry and just making an impact. So That's we're excited wonderful. about that. That's yeah. wonderful. Jean Drummond, I want to thank you so much sure. for coming on and sharing your knowledge and your expertise. And as an entrepreneur, is so, so important. Yeah, thank absolutely. you so much. We're here to get back. Thanks, Denise. And that's, and that's our show for today. Thank you for tuning in. This show and previous episodes are posted on our website, diversity.mypgc.us, and click on The Pulse. We're also on Twitter and Facebook, at PGC Diversity, and our YouTube channel is The Pulse TV. If you have a business question, send it to us on Twitter, at PGC Diversity, and we'll answer it for you and mention your business on this show. Be sure to use the hashtag Ask the Pulse. I'm Denise Roberts, and remember in Prince George's County, your success is our success.